Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm doing a comparison of the Sony DSC WX50 up against the Sony DSC WX100. Uh, so, a lot of people might be curious as to what's the difference because, you know, they're off by like one model, basically, uh, but they look identical. So, that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. Now, keep in mind, I cannot go into every single feature of uh, each device because it would make this video about 40 minutes long, roughly. So if you want the exact details of each device, I suggest you watch the individual video reviews for each camera. You can find a link to those video reviews in the description below. Just expand the description and you can find it there. Or you can wait for some annotation links at the ending of this video. Furthermore, if you want to know, um, if you want to see some sample pictures and videos, I have a separate video recorded and uh, you know pictures taken for each camera. You can find links to those videos in the description as well. Most importantly, if you want to download the original file, like I did video recordings with each camera, if you want to download those original files unaltered, just simply taken from the camera and uploaded straight to the internet, I have provided uh, links in the sample clip video. So in the sample clip video, in that description, you can find a link to download the original video files recorded with this camera because YouTube downgrades the quality a lot. Let's get into the comparison. So the WX50 has it's a 16.2 megapixel camera. Whereas the WX100 is uh, 18.2, and the lens build on the WX50 is a Carl Z's. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but you can just read it for yourself. Whereas the WX100 has a Sony Lens G right there. Okay, so the lenses are slightly different. Uh, both of them have an Exmor R CMOS sensor, uh, so they're pretty much identical in that sense. Now, here's one big key difference. The WX50 has 5x optical zoom for picture and video recording. However, for picture taking only, you can reach a maximum of 10x digital zoom. Okay, whereas the WX100 has 10x optical zoom for picture and video recording, and for picture taking only, it can reach a maximum of 20x digital zoom. So basically. What that means is that the uh, WX100 has double the amount of zoom capabilities compared to the WX50, okay? In terms of the general body design, both of them have the exact same body. It, it's the components inside that are different, but the bodies are practically identical. They both weigh the same. On the top, you have two stereo uh, input microphones for when recording a video, on-off button, zoom in and out, sh uh, shutter button for taking pictures, micro HDMI ports, a slot for the strap, um, battery and uh, SD card, memory card go in there. Uh, again, I, I show these exact details in individual video reviews. I, I suggest you check them out for more details. Tripod holder, um, micro USB port, nothing on the left. And both of them have the exact same controls at the back. Alright, so in terms of uh, picture settings, they, they have the exact same menus as well uh, for the interior based options of the camera. So say for example, if I go to picture mode, and I go through the options, they have these exact same options. You have like regular auto mode, superior auto mode, which you know takes pictures even sharper, uh, sharper imagery basically. Program mode, you know, you set the ISO level, stuff like that, take 3D pictures. Scene is basically like, okay, is it nighttime? Uh, so is it dark? Or you can change it so that the camera knows, okay, I'm on a, you're on a beach, so it'll adjust to the lighting. Uh, maybe you're on a ski resort and there's a lot of white scenery so the, the camera knows okay there's gonna be a lot of bright uh, environments around whereas options like picture effects allow you to take pictures like say this one allows you to take a picture and automatically the camera will process it and turn it into like and it'll look like a painting basically uh, so you don't have to photoshop it some of these options are available in here like preset picture themes you know can change the, the effects make them look like a painting or something like that background defocus is uh, you know, if it takes up, it takes pictures of images about 30 centimeters away from you, and defocuses everything around. So I, again, I can't go into these exact options in this video. You can find them in the individual video review. Both cameras have a self timer mode. They have a burst picture taking mode. Uh, pretty much exactly the same. Both of them have built in manuals, so you don't have to you know lug around the instruction manual in case you forget something. Both of them have those options built inside the camera, which is a neat feature by Sony. Both of them record at 1080-60i, uh, so in terms of video quality, I, I noticed that the WX100 is slightly better, like just barely noticeable, but yes, both of them record at 1080-60i, which is interlaced, 
um, both of them record the videos in MTS file format. One problem with both of them is that you cannot recharge the cameras and take pictures or videos at the same time. So basically, if either camera is plugged into recharge or if they're plugged into your computer, you, you can't recharge them and then take a picture or video at the same time. The only thing you can do while it's plugged into any device or anywhere rather is recharge the camera or you can view taken pictures or videos with the camera itself, okay? Battery life uh, for both. Both of them, by uh, according to Sony, average about 240 images per battery. I say I would say that's fairly accurate. I, I get about the same, more or less. Now, in terms of video recording, from my own personal testing, they average about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes per battery. So it depends on if you're zooming in and out a lot, stuff like that. I get roughly an hour to hour and 15 minutes, roughly, okay? Both cameras, if you record continuously, non-stop, they'll record for 30 minutes and then stop. So basically what that what I mean is if you press the record button, it'll record for 30 minutes and then stop on its own. The camera doesn't turn off, but you just have to press record again to keep recording. Uh, I believe the reason that is is because if a camera records more than 30 minutes continuously, it's considered a camcorder. And I think import charges uh, for camcorders are more expensive, so Sony saves money like by doing that. Um, however, most ca uh, pocket cameras like this stop recording at 10 minutes. So 30 minute intervals recording for pocket cameras like these two is a lot. Most pocket cameras average 10 to 15 minutes, whereas these average 30, so that's a lot. You cannot use the flash while recording a video. It's a given. I know it's a pocket camera, but I just had to mention that. You can't use a flash while recording a video. Okay, so it's time to break down the comparison uh, bit by bit by individual components. Uh, so let's start with most compact. Most compact is it's a tie. They're the exact same size, uh, exact same weight. They're practically identical in that sense. So in, in terms of compact, they're the same. In terms of picture quality, I'll be honest with you guys, I can't really notice the difference between the two. Um, maybe sometimes the focus will be better on the WX100 than the WX50, and sometimes the WX50 will focus better than the WX100. So in terms of picture quality, it's pretty much a tie. In terms of video recording, again, they're so close, I, I can't really tell the difference. Even playing back their uh, video recordings on my 1080p TV through a media player, I, I can like barely tell the difference. Uh, but I noticed that the WX100 is slightly better at focusing when it comes to video recording. In terms of zoom capabilities, the obvious winner here is the WX100. It has 10x optical zoom and 20x digital zoom for pictures, which is double compared to the WX50. So in terms of zoom, the WX100 wins. In terms of functions, they're the same. They both have pretty much the exact same functions, so in terms of functionality, it's a tie. Uh, in terms of battery, as mentioned, they are identical. There's no winner, it's a tie when it comes to battery life. Uh, in terms of the most comfortable to hold, again, it's a tie. They are the exact same thing. There's no spots for grip anywhere around here. You're meant to hold it like this, but they're very compact, so it's not really a bad thing. So even then, it's still a tie anyway. Um, in terms of price point, best bang for buck. Okay, this is this is dependent on what you need. Like if you're if you're gonna take like a lot of video recordings of say you have children that play soccer games or something, sporting events, use a WX100 because of its zoom capability. It's much much better. If you're gonna use like a lot of home videos in which zoom isn't really a necessity, then the WX50 will be sufficient. 5x zoom is not that much for video recording and picture taking, but if you don't need it, you can save money and get the WX50. So in that sense, it's 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 kind of a toss-up for bang for buck. It, it's more dependent on what you need. In terms of what's, which one's easier to use, again, it's a tie because there's exact same thing. So you'll notice that a lot of the components I said that they're a tie, they're a tie, they're a tie. And here's why. The only real difference between the two, you already know by now, is that the uh, WX100 is like two megapixels better, okay? But in terms of zoom, that's the key difference, is that this camera has double the amount of zoom capability compared to this one. So if you don't need the zoom capability of 10x optical, get the WX50. But if zooming is might be important to you in the near future or any time, you know, then definitely get the WX100. So the key element here, like even though there's 2 megapixels higher here, the picture quality and video quality isn't that much higher than the WX50. It's more about the zoom. That's why you're paying the extra money, and that's why the model number has been upgraded. 
So that's my comparison of the WX50 and the WX100. I do hope you found it useful. If you did, check out my website in the description below. Don't forget to check out the links for these videos and their individual reviews and picture and video samples. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.